Okay, today we're going to show you how to use Gregorio to type, um, change some Gregorian chant using only a web browser and a word processor. So that's the word processor window using LibreOffice, which is OpenOffice or close enough. And this, um, the web browser I'm using is Chrome, Google Chrome, but it should work on any web browser. So. The starting point is a website called Gregorio Chant, gregoriochant.org, not Gregorian Chant, Gregorio Chant. Um, it is a collection of lots and lots of information about Gregorio, and it does look a bit overwhelming. But if you scroll right down, we're going to be using the online tools, Illuminare Online Score Editor. So I'll open that mm. in a new tab. Mm. And we're going to be using Gregobase, a database of GABC chant scores that's already all set up, typed up by wonderful people, um, most notably Andrew Hinckley, I think, and Olivia Bertel. Anyway, um, so the one I wanted to pick on today is one of my favourite tunes. If you go to Scores and then Chants by Inchipit, going A for Ave Maristella. And this list of, um, oops, uh, oh, maybe we'll do this one instead. Abimatu et infra ocidit multos puros herodes propter dominum. Sounds like it's for the Feast of the Holy Innocents or something like that. Okay. So the easiest way to use any of these is to download the EPS. So I'll show you how to do that now. EPS stands for Encapsulated Postscript, and it's an image format. So I've downloaded that. It'll be automatically saved in my downloads folder. Um, PNG is another format, an image format that you can use with Microsoft Word. Um, Microsoft Word isn't entirely friendly with encapsulated postscript, but you can still use them. They just don't look so nice. But if you print with a postscript printer, then they'll print all right. So if I insert an image from file, it's just a matter of seeing that EPS and opening that. And there it is in your, your text file. <clears throat> so, but that, that's just the original. Now I want to show you how you can change that, modify it. Um, so to change it, we need the, the GABC file. So I download that. Now sometimes, because GABC is just a text file, it's just words, words and numbers I should say. So if I um, click on it, it opens it up in a text editor for me. And if I select that, copy it to the clipboard, and then go over to Illuminari Score Editor, which I opened before. Now I want to overwrite this part, this just the last two lines so I select them and then control V to paste in the score that I saved so here we go Abimatu ed infra ocidit multos puros it, it's great how it comes up with that um, that preview all ready to go um, so this is where you, I guess it's a bit more like programming in here you've got all this this code now if you look closely the round brackets have the actual chant sort of notation. F3 refers to this clef, and then you've got letters for each of the pitches. Um, things like an underscore represents that horizontal epicema, and this little, um, what do you call it? Quotation mark here represents the little ictus. But you don't really need to know that if you're not changing that. You just need to be able to see where the syllables are. So, Abimatu. I have no idea what this actually means. So, let's put some different words. Um, um, something about Herod. So, there's that hymn. Um, what's it called? Lule Lula, the little tiny child. So... You can just change those, um, don't change the stuff inside the parentheses, but change the stuff around it. So, Lule Lula, thou little tiny 
child. Um, so, um, how would this sound now? So, do this space, do re mi fa ule lula a little. Well, anyway, um, that's sort of beside the point. So you can you can change all the words like that, and then when you're finished, um, let's see. You want to set the width of your page. Now I think I've got an A4 page, so maybe five inches would be a bit better, and height only nine inches. I want to crop the PDF because um, if, if you don't crop the PDF, it's using it like a whole page. Um, ah, sort of hard to understand. But you're just wanting the the clip. Uh, also, another thing to check is that I don't want the title. So if I remove this one, um, like that, then I won't get a title coming up like I did last time. Um, so I think that's all I want. It sorts Mel Gaudi. I'm actually probably using Times New Roman, or close enough. So I'll change that to Times, so it'll blend in with the rest of my document. And export that to EPS. Uh, if we go over here, go down a little bit and then insert that new um, chant that we've just modified. So it's called Gregorio 534. And there it is. Ule lula the little. Um, yeah. So that's how easy it is. I think that should give you enough to go on. I mean, there's so many more details you can go in about little tweaks you can do here and there. Um, but that can give you a taste of how you can edit Gregorian chant using only a web browser and a word processor. Um, thanks for listening, and let me know if you have any other questions.